Jet bridges change the way airports work, and we're all very used to them now. While all enable boarding and disembarkation easily and efficiently, they're not all built the same. One of the most unusual types is the complex overwing bridge, built to facilitate large wide bodies such as the Boeing 747. Let's find out where these jet bridges still operate today. Jet bridges have been in use since the late 1950s when they started to be introduced at US airports. This standard concept of an extending movable bridge began with United Airlines installing them at New York JFK, Los Angeles and San Francisco airports. American Airlines soon did the same thing in San Francisco. The basic design of a series of telescopic tunnels has changed little since then. They've become a little more sophisticated, with longer sections, movable terminal connections and the use of automatic controls and levelling. The single jet bridge was great for smaller aircraft, but boarding and unloading of large aircraft this way took much longer, an important consideration for airlines. Of course, external stairs could still be used, but this was harder with terminal access. The dual jet bridge was soon developed. This sped up boarding by using two doors whilst allowing the plane to use just one airport gate. This is often used today, often for boarding economy and premium classes separately. These double jet bridges work great for connecting two doors when the doors are close together. But what if there's a wing in the way and you want to connect to a second door? The overwing jet bridge was a solution for this. This uses a standard jet bridge structure to connect to the forward door and an attached second bridge to branch out over the wing and connect to a further aft door. It's been most commonly used with a Boeing 747 connecting to the rear door 4, but some airports have used it for the A340 and 777 among others. One early such structure was introduced at Los Angeles International Airport by TWA. This in fact used three connected jet bridges with a third overwing bridge supported by a ground pillar. Other overwing gates suspended the bridge with pylons to allow it to pass over the wing, providing better support. This allowed the bridge to operate from just one terminal connection, taking up less space. The result is a complicated piece of engineering and requires care to operate properly. As far as we can tell, the only airport that overwing jet bridges still operate at is Amsterdam Schiphol. Several such gates were installed from the 1980s onwards on the E, F and G pier. As of February 2021, only two such gates remain, gates E20 and E22. These gates are still in use, although not for the 747 anymore. KLM retired its last 747-400 in October 2020, and few other airlines are still operating them. The dual bridge still works for the Boeing 777-300ER using doors 2 and 4. For other aircraft, it can function as a single, albeit cumbersome, jet bridge. Overwing bridges were used at many North American airports. They appeared early at LAX. Denver, Albany, Austin, Calgary and Vancouver airports all used a similar bridge style at some point. The larger suspended bridges, similar to ones in Amsterdam, were installed at New York JFK but have long been removed. Have you boarded using an overwing jet bridge before? Let us know in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.